This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. <laughs> Good evening. Am I talking now? Yeah. Oh, cool. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to After Hours. I'm enthusiastic, and I'm your host, Gammy Chaos. Um, yeah, I know. I was just trying to go for, like, a different thing, because then I go to the really apathetic, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, it's Matt Drudge again. <sighs> and uh, we're here with a couple birthers talking about health care. <laughs> Uh, how long can I... Oh, I don't have a Chris Matthews tonight. I no. can make one up. No. No. Uh... Boo! Aaron Hockley, I tried Squarespace and it was awesome! Hey, what Mike? do you think about oh. WordPress? Mike, no. Let's oh, behave. Sorry. Let's behave ourselves. What? Shall we? Why? Because it's noxious. Shit, I'm getting scold. What? Yeah, well, Kelly's not here to laugh at you, so... <laughs> Oh boy! Snap. <laughs> okay, let's. All right, can we introduce? Guys. Why don't you? I like it in after hours when you introduce the guests. Oh, that's new. Well, I let you do it the other. I let you do it last week. I'm trying to give you more responsibility. Yeah, but that's when I did Chris Matthews and you just screwed it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm giving you more responsibility on the show. <laughs> introduce our guests. Yes. Oh, the great. Couch. I put at some point we talk or something. Nah, nah. Know, but Look. Dale Chumbley <laughs> and Aaron Hockley. Say hello. Hello. Oh, look how, hello. how it has the little on both sides of the screen, so you can tell that I'm Aaron Hockley, and that's Dale Chumley. <laughs> oh, jeez. Aaron, how's it going? Good. How are you doing, Dale? I'm doing great. You must be Cammy. It's nice and to with meet Cammy you. That'll be an interesting role to play. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see this. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> We're gonna have to switch shoes. <laughs> I don't and wear no. the tiara. No, Cammy yeah. does not wear the tiara. We've yes. been through this. I don't wear the tiara. Not on the show. Only for birthdays. Well, because it's not. You're not truthful. Uh, do you do you have a problem with me this evening, Doctor? <laughs> You're the one who's bitching at me about introducing the guys and stop with the Chris Matthews and I don't know. You know is what Chris you're... Matthews on my show? Cheers. Everybody. Is this Chris Matthews show or is this my show? <laughs> let's all I, let's I'd drink. Say, yeah, let's drink. Oh, is it to time that. for drink music? No. So wait, is there? Are we having a Strange Life drinking game tonight? We get to drink whenever someone says, "Get off my lawn." I didn't think we were going to oh, talk about that. are we going that. there? I don't think we're going to talk about that. <laughs> no, we're not going there. <laughs> oh, Lord. Awkward. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for the drink music. It just Hang depends on. if my lawn, this. you know, serves bicyclists. Or that not. was Ooh. And John <laughs> See, I tried to protect you and yeah. not go yeah. there. And you went there. You totally went there. So, yeah, we have things. We actually have an agenda this evening on Strange of Live After Hours. There is a plan. Are we doing drink music first? Well, we were all drinking, so... Let's drink. Let's drink. Let's, let's just... I think. Oh, Ever since Dr. Normal more banned the drinking, the drinking on the tech episode, it's become a lot more exciting than after hours. To drink more to make up for it. We're doing the drink music. Oh, it's the drink what music? What are we drinking? Okay. Okay. So, Aaron and I are drinking Dirty Dry... 12 Bridges? Is it 12? Yes. Dirty Dry 12, 12. Bridges, Mark. <laughs> Is it 12? How many fucking bridges does Portland have? Well, it says on the bottle... Is it 12? Okay, Aaron. Aaron and I are drinking Dirty Dry Twelve Bridges Martinis. Uh, as are Betsy and Morgan, our studio audience. Doctor Normal, who is the outcast of the martini drinkers, is oh, drinking that's me. a dry Twelve Bridges Martini. Oh yeah. His is not dirty. And I, I really need this tonight. And Dale, Dale does not like the martini. I tried the martini. I did not like the martini. Yeah. No, it's okay. It's an acquired it's taste. An acquired I think. taste. You just won't ever be invited back. <laughs> what is he? But drinking? he likes the. It's a. Oh, it's almost a tiki drink. It is the cran raspberry juice with the coconut rum. It's a tiki it's drink very good. with training wheels. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> with a straw. It is. It is. It's kind of the tiki That'd be drink. Dale Chumbly, right? So and, and we're not quite ready for the tiki mug yet, so he is the old spaghetti factory. We're clarifying that he's. That just solidifies. He'll be the one with the tiara later, right? It's, it's, it's totally... Oh, he's already willing to put the tiara on. Look, see? There he's we go. already wearing the tiara. You are totally going to sell more houses that way. Exactly. Exactly. Not with the tiara of truth. It's like, oh, 
Oh my God! You'd never want to do that. You right. never want to put we that. We need on to because, cover. No, no, no. Because you know what would happen? We'll cover it in a second. You'd be like, Oh, the toilet leaks. Oh no. Oh, there's some. <laughs> uh -huh. dry Wouldn't rot that be there. a novelty? Yeah. Yeah. There's, Actual there's truthfulness. Dry rot. Someone yeah, died here. You'd, you'd never. Actually, isn't that house. one of the things you do have to disclose if someone died in the house, or is it just if they died from no, violent action? Neither. Really? Wow. Unless, that unless, explains the creepy. I don't believe in haunted and, houses, and, really, but one wait a minute. house unless, we looked at, super creepy haunted unless house. Unless a couple goes inspecting the house mm -hmm. and happens to find some papers just sitting there. Box of papers in the otherwise empty house talking about the death of the person who was there. <coughs> it wasn't our fault that they were there and we saw Step them. over they the tape outline on the, the floor. Mm-hmm. We, we were, we and they be. hadn't unloaded the dishwasher. It had, it had like four oh, dishes oh, in man. it. Don't go in. Hmm. This is sad. This is, this is Mike and Cammy's house shopping horror. But, but I will say this, though. I will say this. We, Mike and Cammy, should be heart to heart. I mean, we should be private investigators. We yeah. would be that good. Very cool. Yeah. I don't want to be a private investigator. Why? It would be fun. I don't want to. And our front... <laughs> Be, our front could be a podcast. Tell, tell me about this agenda again. I don't want to be a private investigator. Before we move oh, on we to the have agenda. No agenda. Oh God, this is not that show. This is Strange Love Live After Hours. I'm Curry. Stop. See Dvorak. If, if this weren't a postcard that I needed to show people, then yeah, I would throw it at podcasts, you. We're gonna Before we move on to the agenda, I need to say, Should and I, I kill even the drink music. Or are we? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. We're done. Everyone's having martinis except for Dale, who's not. End yeah. of story. <laughs> Before it turns midnight, I have to say a happy birthday to Megan Kate. So can I have a camera? Can I have my camera? <laughs> happy birthday, Megan. Oh, oh I'm I hoping have a nice you're thing. having a, have a nice great birthday. This. Hang on. You're going to love this. You are going to love this. If Watch you were this. here, I'd let you wear the tiara because it's birthday tiara. Hang on. You're, this is going to blow you away. <laughs> <laughs> happy oh, birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Kate. Also, happy Very birthday cool. to Irk. Irk? Happy, happy birthday. birthday. Oh my gosh, that is so... Would you so... make Irk wear the tiara if he were here? Uh-huh. Okay. Oh. I would. It's true, I'd if make If only him. we would have had it when he was here. We had it. We just didn't Although he doesn't down. need the tiara of truth. He pretty much is truthful. I think those something. are the birthdays I need to cover, and then I want. No, no, is that my more problem? Because I, I never just want to do this thinking. Once again, you should work. Can on I just that. say happy yeah. birthday to Megan Kate again? Because I'm sad on. that I can't be there. No. Happy birthday, Megan Kate. No, wait. Oh. Do it one more time, Irk and Megan. <laughs> happy birthday, Irk and Megan Kate. Yay. Oh, okay, no crap. more of that. No, wait a minute. Wait. A I don't minute. like that. No, 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 no more. I was gonna cut to me and say happy oh, birthday. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> happy birthday. Uh, hang on. Oh my God. <laughs> really? Happy birthday. Happy? You better be drinking. What the hell just happened? I don't know. <laughs> I'm threatening the camera. I can't I'm wait to have birthday. you guys talk all about how need, to do a podcast. I need, it's going to be awesome. Yeah, exactly. It's going to be very to, good. Uh, when is that happening? Yeah. Um, it'll be on Saturday at WordCamp. At WordCamp. Yeah, at WordCamp. Yeah. Get on the uh, waiting list. We talked about Actually, WordCamp. what I believe is that we're going to tell people how not to let their podcast control their life. Yeah, how Which is just that? ironic. That? But, if you but what is the, but the actual title? <laughs> oh, hold on, wait. Um, <sighs> something. It's just dirty. Doctor Normal, can you remember the actual? It's something about how to be your podcast's um, dom and not its sub. What something a great like title! That. That's the best. We worked really hard for like twelve minutes. Best yeah, time to come up with that wow. title. Camp Portland uh, presentation mm -hmm. would be that title. I'm quite certain that if Matt Mullenweg were to decide to show up for WordCamp Portland, he probably won't have any sexual references in his speech title. I was asking Aaron yeah. earlier, does anyone else have any, did anyone else make a naughty title talk? No. No, we have I a was very... competing with myself. Well, yeah, we have a very G-rated lineup with well, the hey, exception of the bondage reference. If you don't know that it's bondage, then it doesn't sound dirty. Well, here's the deal. Look. It's better than, um, you know, it was worse. Journalism Portland. Video one-on-one, -on -one, you know. Um, oh, I cheap, like that. Cheap Trick. No, what was it? It was a really long title. The, title, was the title was way too long. I know because I had Video to type it into the TriCaster. Cheap Tips and Tricks or something cheap? like that. Oh, Software Editing Tips and Tricks. Yeah, something, something like that. As an it event was, organizer, I like short titles. It was really long. Mine was long. I was just going to say, I was just <laughs> podcasting. podcasting. Suck it, bitch. But 
See? I totally would have gone for that. I know. But, oh, wait, wait, wait. I could change it. Podcasting. <laughs> Suck, Suck it, bitch. bitch. <laughs> I found this. Okay, Dr. Normal, I'm going to take you away like the, the balloons. You like the balloons? The TriCaster. I didn't know it did that. I was you like, know what? Remember oh, when we were talking balloons. about podcasting and video one-on-one, 101, yeah. and one of the things was don't use Aaron, those awful Aaron transitions. Weiss. Aaron Weiss don't use the naughty bad transitions, Dr. Normal. That's that a naughty balloons. bad transition. How are balloons naughty? Or bad. I'm just saying naughty as in it's a no-no. It's a no-no. People, well, let me just do a people, transition. How do you mean in they're naughty? Can me? People, tell Dr. Normal to stop Great. using the freaking balloons. Oh, you got to see this, though. I don't need to see it. <laughs> it's an explosion. I like it. Dude, I'm going to take away your buttons. He's like that guy who got PowerPoint, and he's going to create the slides that use every single transition in PowerPoint. I'm going to cry hey, myself it even to sleep to tonight. Look at I that. am going to exactly. cry myself to sleep tonight. This There's is, fireworks. I need to show the card that Sydney oh, sent. Okay. So I'll just. <laughs> Over here. Camera two? Uh, oh. oh. Do we not have two. use of camera two? <sighs> yeah, actually, we, we can go to t- camera two. That would be the one that the would. The button that says two. Do, uh, Dale and Aaron. I'm just going to hold my. Clock flare. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, cover us up. There you go. See, that my beautiful the best postcard. Photo of and I ever. We've never looked so Skinny, good. Skinny is on an adventure. Crystal is on an adventure, and she sent me this beautiful postcard. Crystal Beasley. Yes. Greetings from sunny Spain. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you, Crystal. I was thrilled. That's I love getting card. postcards. That's she, right. She's she's pretty did up all on her own. Look, it's a great picture of me too. Ooh. <laughs> all right. Okay. What else? So we had birthdays. If an organization in Portland. We have birthdays. We have... <laughs> Go! <laughs> do it! Do it! Do it! Ready. All right, Dale. Yes. Bounce Rebar camp. Galactic. <laughs> what? I am going to throw a shoe at you, Dr. Normal, and don't think I won't. I've done it before. Hey, I've got a sound effect for that, remember? Yeah. Should I tell everyone that I didn't actually throw my shoe at you? I like no. my shoe too much. I like my shoe too much. Hollywood. What the hell are you doing? Here. It's like Disney. You don't tell go. the kids that they're animatronics. Oops. Is that supposed to go all the way over? I was trying to do a Letterman thing. Eh. Throwing it. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, if you need me to do a transition, we'll just... Please don't transition. Roller coaster. Oh, dear <laughs> Lord. That's a cool one. I like oh, that. My... It's all. I'm so sorry, guys. It's over. It's all downhill from oh, here. <laughs> it's all downhill from all right. here. We need to. We, we need content. We, we can has show. Aaron, no, go. we can has no show. We has roller. This is my transition. backup plan. Let's drink. Okay, good plan. I should have. Oh, drinks. You mean? Oh you God! Want, oh. Please, said there's no. <laughs> I'm sorry. We could uh. just ignore him completely. I know, but I know he's. It's like kindergarten, it's like and he's that boy is poking me. Right? It's like my I think he old. likes me. I think he likes me, and that's the reason he's tormenting me. Uh, I could okay. pass him a note and find out. You could. Could you with one of the could little? You like me to do do that? you like Cammy? Yes or no. Check this box. Yeah. Yeah. Yes or, yes or no, or no yeah. circle. There you go. Yeah, that'd be good. We'll just pass it around. Fi- hey. Yes. Oh God, like Doctor Normal. He finally found the fireworks. <laughs> I'm gonna come over. I'll reach right over that desk and pull this podcast I'm over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It was a late night. I was like, wow, Okay, seriously? Know. Yeah, seriously. Event was. organization in Portland. Go. <laughs> we should talk about rebar. Rebar camp. Go. Yes. The tough subject. Rebar. 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 Is it about metal? It's a metal it's a metal workers conference. Yeah. Okay. That you Excellent. put in concrete. Exactly. Mm-hmm. It's a concrete topic. You know, there's a thing called the Christensen effect, which is an economic, has to do with rebar and markets. Oh, what the fuck? I'm not joking. Oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Never mind. Can we hear? Do you guys want more balloons? No. <laughs> Roll the balloons. Harvard's business. No, don't encourage no. I him. Uh-uh. I will do more balloons. Don't. I will. D- don't. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. I don't want to look it up. I want to talk about. I saw Andy Grove. I want to talk, talk about. about it once. We need to talk and about I'm only, rebar. I'm only going to say it once the right way. I want to talk about R E Bar Camp. Okay. Rebar Camp. Which Go. makes no sense because Realtor doesn't start. You don't say R E Realtor. Real estate. You don't talk. You don't say. R E was for real estate. Yeah, but you don't say R E estate. Which is as opposed That's to true. what? Fake estate? Explain Explain that term because I don't Do we understand. We need more that. balloons. Real no. no. 
So, no balloons. We're going to hurt you. Is there a fake estate? I'm going to stick Betsy on you, and trust I don't me, know. she'll take you down. You should, you should know that. I don't, I've never been asked that question. Okay. There's supposedly a fourth estate, but I don't think so. So, let's okay. talk about event planning in Portland. Bah, bah, bah. Doing it yourself versus... Not doing it what yourself? What other option is there? Doing it yourself Well, versus... it doesn't happen is the other option. Well, yeah, you either or... do it yourself or you have the big committee. Well, okay. So... <laughs> yeah. Um... Balloons? Hey. Just, just, just cue me when you want the balloons. <laughs> Don't ever move your finger. <laughs> um. Could you think it's safe to drink? So, oh, oh, the, who's on you tried right? to balloon it and it went black. Uh-oh. That'd be oh, shame. yeah. Camera three died. It's Go. dead. So, event no, organization. I, I don't know. It's interesting. Tony's not here. Um. Yeah, so I've done event organization for a totally non-technical event prior mm-hmm. to doing WordCamp. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was an event organized around railroad photography called Gorge Rail. Train porn. <laughs> I was going to say that, but I was um, that drinking gin. Hashtag right. train porn. <laughs> train porn. So, <laughs> train porn. It, that is... Hang on, I'll get that. What is that? That is a gas alarm? All sorts of fun stuff happening here on Strange Love Live. Morgan, could you go upstairs and calm down? It's okay, buddy. (laughs) This is the first time that's ever happened on Strange Love Live. (laughs) I wonder if we'll cut this part out. Yeah. I'm thinking we might. I hope we don't die. (laughs) I'm hoping we'll use a nice little balloon transition. Smell gas. This should be known as the episode where, you know. I don't know, but I can't put what doesn't happen after all. Uh, There's no. Okay, so that was a. Tickets are non refundable. (laughs) (laughs) Tickets Um, are non refundable if we are dying. If we all die in a carbon monoxide incident in the Strange Love. So we have two of the speakers the event planner and the. um, And the. Uh, investor coordinator, no sponsor coordinator, sponsor. are all I wish dead. Wish we had investors. <laughs> are all investors dead. Call you us. still have to go to WordCamp. That's yeah. right. Okay, Unfortunately, so now, there are no substitutions because the registration person is here too. All right. So yeah. now let's pretend that that didn't okay. happen. So I think continuing Dr. on. Normal will edit that out. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, event planning in Portland. So, I've done an event previously that was not a technical event, um, not in Portland. Uh, it was in the Dalles, where your event option facilities and stuff are very limited. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I'd had a bit of background with that, and then as WordCamp came up, um, I seemed to be the one who kind of took the initiative to be the lead organizer for it. Because you're a go-getter. I'm something. Um, <laughs> and... It's been interesting to do, you know, to do an event the size of WordCamp, like 150, 250 people, because mm-hmm. small events that have, you know, 30, 40 people are real easy. It's like you find, you know, there's lots of places you can put 40 people. There's, yeah. you know, the banquet rooms at all sorts of, you know, brew pubs and stuff. There's, you know, lots of office space that size. When you get bigger than that, it becomes challenging. So last year we did bar camp or... Really, I know what event I'm doing. Um, <laughs> Word, Word Camp. Word camp. Yeah. Last year we did Word Camp at Cube Space. Um, who used, you know, when they were around, they hosted all sorts of great events. Um, but maybe 175 was their max. Capacity. Yeah. So we had about you know, 150, 160 people last year, and we we limited it to that amount because that was the amount that I thought we could comfortably fit in Cube Space, where everybody would be, you know, mm-hmm. not squished. Bar camp, they would cram a lot more people than that into cube space, but it worked well because it was very rare that everybody is all in the same space at once. Yeah. Um, but it was still kind of kind of tight. So this year, when uh, we looked at doing word camp um, back, you know, and this was you know nine months ago, so um, the stuff with cube space, um, you know, ending hadn't even crossed our paths or crossed our minds. Um, we'd outgrown cube space, and so I started looking for other facilities to do the event. Um, and Web Trends about that time was starting to talk about wanting to host events. So they had a good space that we could use, went there, looked, it's like, hey, yeah, we could fit a couple hundred people in here. Mm-hmm. Um, worked with uh, Justin Kistner, who at the time was not a Web Trends employee, he was just a, a contractor working for, uh, uh, for Voce Communications, um, and met with Yasha, who's their VP of marketing, and uh, 
Yasha was great to work with. WebTrans was awesome. So we booked WebTrans for WordCamp back in like, you know, January or, or something. It was a long time ago. Um, now it's kind of interesting because there's been a bunch of stuff at WebTrans since then. So um, in one respect, everybody's like, oh, it's at WebTrans, just like everything else. It's like, yeah, but we booked WebTrans yeah. before WebTrans was cool. It was ours you know, first. So. Yeah. But it's interesting the challenges of putting together an event of this size because there's a lot of work involved. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, um, when you start looking at registration and the financial aspect and finding sponsors and looking at vendors for t-shirts and food and you know door prizes and do you have Wi-Fi capacity because you know please blog- tell me you have Wi-Fi we have Wi-Fi because oh, um, we're working the details out at this moment okay. but you know whether it's either WebTrans internal network or whether we have additional Wi-Fi brought in we'll have plenty of Wi-Fi. Um, there will be power. Because if you want to see 200 bloggers cry, <laughs> yeah, no, have them, give them a conference no. with no Wi-Fi. Um, but there's a lot of logistics, and there's just a hundred zillion little things that you don't think of initially. Um, so it's like, oh, registration's easy, great. You know, we'll have a list and we'll take money. And then it's like, okay, well, what about you know the people that decide they can't make it? Or you're going to do food, awesome. Well, what about the person? You know, so you have to make sure, and especially in Portland, that you have vegetarian and vegan options. I do options. have a question about the um, food. Yeah. Who's, who's feeding us? So who's feeding you? To be determined. It was really great, though. Um, I put the call out on Twitter a couple weeks ago um, because food was one of the things I decided I was going to delegate, right? Mm-hmm. We can talk a little bit more about delegation. <laughs> um, delegation is your friend. I put the call out on Twitter. I'm like, hey, I'd love to have somebody help coordinate the food for WordCamp because we we're going to do two different lunches on Saturday and Sunday. Um, and then I want to have, you know, just kind of some refreshments, coffee, soda, water um, available throughout. And, you know, if sponsorship works out to the point where I hope it will, we'll have, you know, some pastries or something in the morning. Um, and so I got a, a few different responses. And one of the responses was from someone who said, oh, yeah, you know, I'm a blogger. I just moved to Portland. Um, and I have a background in catering and event management. And I'm like, yes, you are my food person. Mm -hmm. So um, Kat Markert, who writes uh, kungfoodie.com. Kung foodie. Kung foodie.com is coordinating the food for WordCamp. And kind of the the mission I gave her was let's do something really interesting and different, Mm -hmm. right? You know, last year... We did um, we did pizza for lunch, which is fine. I mean, people like pizza; it's easy. That's pretty affordable. Uh, and we did Nicholas for dinner because there's actually a, a law that if you had a tech event at Cube Space, you had to have Nicholas food. I believe it is written into the contract. Exactly. Yes. Um, and so <laughs> this year, I was like, let's see what we could do that would be a little creative and different. I mean, yeah, I can bring a bunch of pizza in; it's easy, quick and easy, but. Let's do something creative. So Kat's kind of out there looking at some options. You know, one of the options that I know we're looking at, seeing if we can make the logistics works, is what if we had a few food carts come in and we just did, you know, bought everybody lunch at these food carts or something mm. like that. So cart. Get a soup cart for Cami Chaos. So no promises on that yet, but Kat's <laughs> looking at those options. Um, and so that's great. Um, but the delegation thing is interesting. So I've had Dale doing sponsorships, which has been great. Mm-hmm. Um we like Dale enough that we let him come. Tonight. Exactly, you Thank know. You. Betsy is handling you know the registration logistics, which we like is Betsy enough that we let her come. Which, tonight. which is wonderful. <laughs> There's Betsy. Because um, when you get 200 people and 200 you know payment transactions and 200 people, a bunch of whom who have you know special dietary needs or mm-hmm. you know. We need to find out how many shirt sizes they are and all that. So that's good. But yeah, the delegation I thing. I complain is, about shirts, but I won't. I like girl shirts, Aaron. So my response to the people who <laughs> asked about that last year was, I would be glad to have you be in charge of shirts next year. No, thank you. And nobody really came forward to step up to that. So, yeah. yeah. No, thank you. Um, Although I would say, maybe talk to the bacon guys and see where they got their shirts. Possibly. I might do that. Yeah, I've got a quote from one shirt vendor. Um but I'm, I haven't placed the order yet, so we'll look at that. Ask, because that's my favorite shirt. It fits really comfortably. Then I'm going to have to like go to the list of P- 200 people I who have registered and try work. and figure out who's a girl and who's a guy. I want you to and do more And there's going to be work. somebody on that list named like Pat, mm-hmm. and that's just going to be awkward. Yeah, Pat. <laughs> or you know what? Also, I, I don't think you really want Kelly. to go there. <laughs> Kelly and Tracy, both, uh, yeah. either way. I think we asked. Morgan. How about Mike? Also. Oh, yeah, you did. I think you asked if I was a boy or a girl. 
We did? Yeah. I think so. We at, really? Yeah. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I wanted to know. Interesting. So Diabolical. one of the things one of the things that happens when you delegate things <laughs> is happen. that stuff happens you don't necessarily know about, and, and that's, that's okay. In this case, well, also yeah, but, you guys collected inf- interesting information. Yeah. Is that public knowledge? Why the interesting information? Was yeah, public? yeah. I'm well, mostly. Okay. So there's the it's top secret. Never mind. It's so there's the top secret one. thing that you kind of know about yeah, related to I'm the, excited something. About that. Uh, but but the main reason we asked, I'm thing. privy to secret secret secrets. I'm telling you, it's a TSA. It's a no fly list. TNA, what? Yeah, exactly. No fly list. So, I have a friend no on blog the no list. fly list. It's a no blog Let's list. Let's get back to the event coordination. I, I'm ready for another alarm. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to evacuate. <laughs> Wait, take this to the backyard. Yeah, that, that yeah, came out wrong. This exactly. is the bat cave. Uh, unfortunately. The backyard. Oh, backyard. backyard. I thought you said bat yeah. cave. No, the backyard. Uh, Apparently, oh. I should drink. Last more time more I was in their backyard, there was a tiki bar. There is a tiki bar in the backyard. And I'm already set. Almost. I'm Almost. just missing the cup and whatever That's else your goes into wheels. a tiki. Next time, yeah. next time we'll let you have a real tiki drink. In, There's in a next a time? In a month. Does that mean there'll be a next time? Okay. Probably. Very exciting. If you start talking more. Do that real estate thing and come back and make an offer on our house. <laughs> I don't want to sell my house. Yeah, What's wrong with you? Here, let me give you my card. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want to sell our house, Dr. Normal? Well, the economy's tanking, man. We gotta, like, get out of this market when we can. <laughs> okay, I have an agenda. We're not selling the house. We're talking about this, and then I need to beg people to do something nice for me. Go. Uh, okay. Give us money. So where were we? Um, okay. Oh, the questions we asked. So, questions. Yeah. T-shirt size, pretty obvious. Um, we... Did uh, you know dietary needs? Pretty obvious. Mm-hmm. The kind of the other questions we asked is. I need bacon. Bacon. Did you put that in the anything else we should know? So we got some been good. really interesting. So we'll get to that. So we asked a couple different questions. One is like, which kind of group would you most identify yourself with? I was stumped on that. And we asked Martin like, you know, are you just like an author or a content producer? We asked okay. if you'd consider yourself like a developer or like more interested in like the mar- marketing and, you know, kind of PR aspects of mm-hmm. blogging. And the reason we asked that, and then we also asked, you know, what type of information are you least interested in? Um, is mainly so we have a kind of a gauge on the demographics of the audience pretty much for um, room planning purposes so yeah. that we don't have, you know, Will Norris giving his super technical talk. Um, you know, if everybody wants is indicated that they're a developer, mm-hmm. we don't want to have Will try and give that talk to 200 people in a room that holds 30. Yeah. And vice versa, we don't, you know, want to have, you know, somebody in the room that holds 150 giving a presentation to eight people. So, I remember the one, the one podcasts. room that I remember being off kilter last year. You know what I'm going to say? Marshall yeah. session. Marshall, yeah. where I was sitting on the floor and my literally my ass and my leg fell asleep sitting on the floor and I could not move because I was like sandwiched with people all around me listening to Marshall talk and everyone was just like, Marshall 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 Kirkpatrick Marshall from Kirkpatrick. Read Right Web. Yeah. Yes. Responsible for making your ass fall asleep. Kelly's room was really packed too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So sitting so on I, 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 I have a suggestion the podcasting Put that in the bathroom or something, atrium <laughs> or whatever. I don't know. That's an There'll interesting like idea. We could do that. So, um, <laughs> so that's an option. Yeah. So, <laughs> can we turn the alarm back on? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, um, so that's why we asked those questions. Um, <laughs> Doctor Normal. Gender. We, we did. did ask we gender. Checked. Okay. I didn't know that. Do you not have a ticket? Yeah. Oh crap! I was supposed it. to have registered. Oh, Hockley's not going to work camp. Oh. Hockley well, can't go. Asking, no, wait, I'll, I'll sell you a ticket. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Now it's going to cost me two hundred and fifty to get to work camp. Oh lord. Uh, and what, what happened? Hockley can't go to word camp. Good. Actually, I heard that Hockley Photography is going to be a sponsor. Nice. Isn't that great? Very nice. Which, what, which level would you like? <laughs> he would like I'm the $1,000 you know level. You could do the 500 and you could sell the other two tickets. <laughs> Take Ooh, bids. That'd there be you go. You could. You could. You could. That's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. I like this. So, thank you. Scalping good. tickets. Anyway. Scalping tickets for WordCamp. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Yeah, Normal yeah. scalping that tickets. Nice. What's the street value? Yeah. Yeah. As I said earlier, the process is if you can't make it, you can identify somebody we'll you transfer your Dr. ticket Normal, to. I'm you know, going to sit yeah. there like Dr. Normal. with my hands over my ears. I don't care how you identify who that other person you give this your podcast, ticket to this is. Mic We're not involved in that. <laughs> so, 
Well, they'll come free. As the registrar who will have to manually process this transaction, I want to cut. Yeah, not a problem, Betsy. <laughs> we can get you covered. Maybe so like, what else? There's a lot of dirty deals. That RPDX is yeah. not free. Oh hell no. <laughs> we'll get positive cash flow yet. Live. Negative cash flow and loving Portland. I'm telling you. We'll go positive cash stop. flow before it's We're over. Press Can we talk about RPDX's contribution? So RPDX, yes, I did. I didn't Betsy. pimp our sponsors. I probably yes. should have done that. Pimp so your sponsors. So it's after late. hours, we so love RPDX. Our sponsors. So Betsy's here. Betsy can talk about oh, what RPDX on, is contributing, on. maybe in That's a moment. The mic. In the meantime, ah. I can talk about our other sponsors. So we've got some other great sponsors, and now I'm going to feel bad because I will forget some. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, so Chris Martin Studios from Vancouver. How come? So I'm from Vancouver and Dale's from Vancouver and I'm talking about a sponsor from Vancouver. Maybe next Chris year. Chris Martin Studios. Maybe, maybe next, next year we'll have Coove Camp. Word Camp um, Vancouver. And Word I can Camp just, in the Coove. I can Coove. just imagine the snark in the chat room at the moment. Um, <laughs> anyway. Shut down. The chat room's been oh, shut down. Okay. The chat room got grounded. Anyway. Naughty little um, chat room. So Chris Martin Studios is we're gonna sponsoring. Wait, just one moment. When we're done talking about sponsors, we're going to talk about this whole chat room grounding Yay, thing okay. and we're going to ask for help. Chris Martin Studio. Chris Martin Studios as a sponsor. Um, Swellpath. Swellpath Interactive is a sponsor. Yeah. RPDX Networks is a sponsor. Um, Strange Love Live is a sponsor. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Um, okay. Who else? Thank you. Yeah, we'll talk Web to you Trends later. is sponsoring. Web Trends is donating the event space, Dynag- which that's a really big deal yes, if is. we were paying for that. Um, Dynagraphics is sponsoring. They're taking care of the name badges, and we're going to do some cool things with the name badges. I'll leave that at very at that for now. I'm very so you'll see what that some becomes. great graphics over there at Dynagraphics, by the way. Yes. If you're looking do. for uh, printing and graphics, I would recommend Dynagraphics. You know what, though? You should also, if they're like, they should just talk to Tyler. Yeah, talk to Tyler and CMYK. Tyler's our man. Tyler Ashcroft. Tyler and CMYK. Like, and I'm serious. I'm actually serious. Yeah, actually, that wasn't joking. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler's uh, gotten yeah. some great stuff printed for us yeah, before. Yeah, totally. So Good Betsy stuff. maybe can talk about RPDX and their important pivotal role they played in last year's WordCamp and then this year's. Sure. Last, last talk, year, we absolutely wanted to sponsor one thing and one thing only, and that was the beer. We thought it was really important to have free beer at WordCamp. And this year, I said I was to Aaron, say the strippers, but no, nah, that's that's for 2010. We'll oh, work on okay. that for 2010. Nice. Um, this year, I, I, I called bowls. dibs on the whole. I want to buy the beer again mm-hmm. as a cash flow negative operation. Yeah. I guess it's important. Um, what, what I said is that when we're using the registration system we're using this year is called Eventbrite, mm-hmm. and Eventbrite has two different ways that they get their money. They can either take it out of the overall ticket price, mm-hmm. or you can add on to the ticket price, just like you would with Ticketmaster. And so for... Or you can get the Dr. Normal special. No, 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 no. no so stop we it. made the decision, because <laughs> Eventbrite was, is a really great registration program, that we would be willing to roll the $1.49 cost into the $20 ticket that everybody paid to join, to come to I just camp. have to say... I really appreciate that because there's nothing I hate more than the Ticketmaster. Uh, uh, hey, hey. Ticket yeah. Ticket Here they're gonna sponsor our show. So. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. New. With all that extra revenue from the fees, yeah. Uh-huh. So anyway But look, yeah. balloons. Uh, uh, stop with the <laughs> balloons. But, Betsy, you talk. Hey, Betsy. Well, well, back to Betsy. Yeah, Betsy here's, is a here's good the person. Thing. Um one of the other great people that we have helping us is of course the guy who helps with everything, Mr. Rick Tarosi in Silicon Florist, who's been acting as our banker. I'm sick of it. And him. so anybody who's been paying <laughs> with PayPal, they've been actually paying Jeez. Rick. And then we were going to take that money, He's some of that money, banker. and funnel it that back to Eventbrite to pay the dollar forty nine fees. You guys are fees. money laundering. Yeah, no, actually, actually, Rick, being Rick, so Rick is you know Return Corporation, which is Rick's business, is right, also yeah. a great sponsor helping with our financial I'm management. Yep. Rick, being Rick, yeah. actually tried to register himself and pay himself. Oh, what he a guy, sweetie. And Rick discovered that PayPal won't actually let you pay yourself, so he uh, can't actually launder the money in that way so that's good wow paypal wouldn't let him pay because he was paying himself exactly interesting nice you learn new things every time you do this so that's why it went down from 200 to a dollar and 199 could very well be interesting yeah. anyway um so we could our pdx i could have just sent money to rick via paypal 
to pay our sponsorship fee. And paid PayPal fees on our PayPal fees. Yeah, so what I then decided to do is I'm just going to pay the event right registration fees myself. And that way, we don't have to take it out of the money that we've already collected for WordCamp. We were, we're considering an hour contribution. And so right. every piece of money that's now sitting in the, the account goes all to WordCamp, period. I need sense. to suggest something. If you're in the Portland tech community and you're at Beer and Blog and you see Betsy, who is the heart and soul behind RPDX, please, for the love of God, buy the woman a drink. <laughs> Just buy her a drink because, seriously, cash flow negative. Oh, yes. my children remind me of that fact every single day. Like, you're, you're doing what? Buy and you're getting drink. what from mm. this? Nothing? Yes. Nothing? Yeah, don't buy me so. a drink. Oh, yeah. so what is else going to say about events, event Dr. management? Dr. So, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting. Uh, Abraham Hyatt, who recently did Digital Journalism yeah. Camp, like, a couple weeks ago, kind of a thing. Who um, was here on the show? Who was here on the show, like, three weeks ago or a month ago or whatever. Right before um, Journalism Camp. Yeah. So he put a really great post up on RPDX mm-hmm. um, just in the last week or so, talking about his experiences running a, a conference event in Portland. Crazy. And it's a really long post, but you should really read it. If you've it ever, is worthwhile. Even if you have no desire to organize an event, if you've just attended one of these events, you really should read it to get a good picture of some of all of the things that are involved. There's just yeah. so many details that you don't think about. I mean, and it's not, I mean, obviously there's a lot of financial stuff that goes in, but it's just the time, you know, it's... People emailing, you know, me as one off of, oh, I'm, you know, so one of our out-of-town speakers. I'm coming in from out-of-town. Where should I stay? Give me a hotel recommendation. Okay, so, you know, do I spend two seconds and just blurt back, you know, you know, go stay here or something without really thinking about it? Or do I spend some time researching it or what? Um, It's, you know... The other thing is, you know, even the stuff that you delegate, there's still communication going on. It's, you know, Betsy will run into a registration question. Hey, how should we handle this weird scenario? Or, you know, Dale has a sponsor who's like, I want to sponsor, but, you know, I want to do this different thing. Or, you know. Um, Prima Donna sponsors. No, it's not really that. Oh, but, it's making you know, fun of me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah those strange love people. Um, but... There's just so many different little things that come up. Um, You know, I mean, I took, you know, with the event, you know, I delegated registration to Betsy. I delegated uh, uh, sponsorship to have Dale help coordinate that. Um, I've delegated, you know, Kelly Gamont's going to be in charge of the post-its. So she's going to manage the unconference board at the event. Um, I want really bright post-its, Kelly. I'm sure she's taking notes. Okay. Bright post-its. Big, bright post-its. Big. Um, and then, you know, Purple. Purple there's post-its. just all sorts of other things. I've delegated the food. Mm-hmm. Um, there's still all the overall coordination. There's the facilities thing, you mm-hmm. know. So, like, last week, Betsy and I went and met with WebTrends for about an hour, hour and a half to go over just facilities logistics. Um, Did they ask you about your analytics? I don't know. Just ignore him. It's We're okay. not really the web trends market. You can ignore him. Cheap, low budget, volunteer, <laughs> not enterprise. Um, and but they could put you on a max train. Why are you talking, Doctor Normal? <laughs> So, because I don't talk. Look, we're and on target. One of the things that stay on target. I'm so not. one of the things that I and didn't I delegate target. because I wanted so to I'm be talking. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mute. mute. That you did mute. not delegate. So one of the things I that, I, mute button, what that I did not delegate was I decided I wanted to be in charge of the content, the schedule, the speakers, mm-hmm. um, because I'm selfish like that. Being of job, I might add. It, yeah. Excellent. The speakers. <laughs> yeah. Are... So I was really happy with who we ended up. And, you know, a lot of that was just connections from different people I've met and a few people. We've got a couple of people that are speaking that I've never met, mm-hmm. which is kind of cool because it's great to meet new people, you know. Um, but I have a question. Um, is it valid? So yes, it's valid. It's Does it count? Valid. Yes, it counts. <laughs> is it on topic? Matt Mullenweg, Mr. WordPress himself. He's not here. So Matt Mullenweg, Matt's Mr. WordPress right himself. Uh, I met him when I was down at WordCamp Vegas. Yeah, he was at WordCamp. He, Vegas. he likes to go to WordCamp. He, you know, last year he was at WordCamp Utah during WordCamp Portland, mm-hmm. and you know we might forgive him for that eventually. No. Um, Coming to Portland. Yeah, so... Portland's not a dry town. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> B- 
Big laugh. Balloons? Uh, no. Balloons. Um, anyway, Dale? moving on. Time out. Dale is timed out for encouraging the balloons. Uh, I like Dale. So I've been in contact with Matt a couple Dale times. Week. Um, originally, we tried to schedule word camp around getting Matt here. Mm-hmm. We actually, you know, so back in like February, March of this year, we were co- talking to Matt and his assistant at Automatic and figuring out, you know, what's going to work. Um, we're still looking at the same kind of time frame as we ended up with, you know, September. Originally, the plan was Matt was going to be on a sabbatical all of September, so he wouldn't be available. Mm-hmm. So we looked at moving it into October. Mm-hmm. And the first weekend in October, Automatic was having, like, some all-company meeting or something, so nobody would be available. And the second week of October, there was something else going on. So finally, you know, I got kind of a few of our key people together, and it's like, so do we kind of tweak the whole? time frame to accommodate Matt, or do we do it like we did last year, where we just have a kick-ass word camp, even though Matt may not be able to make it? And we decided to just do the Portland thing, and, you know, do it on our own, and see what happens. Portland slash the Coof. The Coof. So here we got to so, include the Coof. Oh, Matt, sorry. If you're watching and listening, you got to come to Portland for word camp Portland. Just come. Just come. Free beer. It's good. It's all good. you got to come. He's come, not come. very convincing. Do it now, or I'll do more balloons. <laughs> or if you like that, I'll <laughs> balloons and fireworks and crap. It's great. Oh, boy. The little report has a TriCaster. I is this helping or hurting? Helping or hurting? I think hurting. <laughs> um, I think. I don't know. You know, I know how to work the TriCaster now. Ooh. That's right. Maybe I should just take the TriCaster away from him. Me. <laughs> Anyway, so, I do. I know how to so switch everything. The update now. on Matt. So essentially, the update is there is uh, an update. Matt's coming, okay, right? update. Well, there is not. The update is not that Matt's coming. I wish I could announce that. Um, the update is that I, I just talked, did. I, He's coming. He's Dr. Okay, Normal. Doctor Normal done. says. <laughs> I talked to him right before. Um, you know, I talked to him a couple months ago, and he said, uh, "I don't know. I'd like to be there. I'll see what I can do." Uh, I talked to, or, you know, exchanged email with him the morning we opened registration and said we're opening registration. Um, you know, love to have you here, kind of a thing. Join us. How's your schedule? Um, and his response that day was, um, ping me again after the beginning of September. Okay. Um, I asked him on Twitter this week, I said, hey, we just sold 200 WordCamp tickets in a week. You gotta come visit Portland. His response, um, it didn't commit to coming to Portland. So, we're no, still... but it was really funny to <laughs> You, you don't we want don't me have to go to where I want to go. Yeah. Dr. Norman, um, you're not allowed to talk anymore. People can go look at that on their own if they yeah. want. Um, so we're still anyway, hopeful so that, we're, we're still hopeful that, hopeful that he's coming to Portland. Um, he's I'm, coming. I might be able to finagle one of those extra tickets for him if he yeah, were to show up. If he shows We've got up. a ticket hey, hey. for you, Matt. Um, I know his yeah. shirt Am size, I out of time out? courtesy of other people. But what are you out of time out? Oh, yes, Dale, you can come out of time out Sorry. Jesus. <laughs> so I've never put a guest in timeout before. It was very I feel exciting. special. Wow. It was very exciting. I felt powerful. So I, oh, it worked much better than when I put so my kid wanna... in timeout. Sorry. Because I listened. So where we're at. So, yeah, so hopefully Matt will be here. <laughs> Aaron's trying um, to stay on target. Yeah. Yeah. It's after hours. Yeah. We're all like, kind of like doodle doo. Yeah. Rebar. Anyway, so Matt's coming. That'll be Matt's awesome. Matt's coming of course. to Word Camp Good. Portland. We'll sure, if you listen um, too. So everyone who comes to Word Camp so is, um, uh, Portland. So is Barack see, Obama because uh, he's really good friends with Matt. Aaron Dave Hawking. Chappelle. <laughs> Dave Chappelle <laughs> is going to be at Word Camp Portland. Trust start, this. Start that on Twitter. <laughs> you know what? Dude, people will believe Overheard that because, at Strange Love because Live. he was yeah. there hey, at the square. Honestly, if Dave Chappelle can go <laughs> do the Pioneer Square, I think Matt could come for Word Camp. I'm just saying. Just saying. Wow, I think there's an oh, elephant there's upstairs. <clears throat> okay, no, we're good. We're so, camp. Matt and Mullenweg, it'll yeah. be one. So hopefully Matt will be there. If yeah. not, we've still got all sorts of really great speakers. I mean, we've got, you know. Hey, Dr. Normal, podcasts. I think you need to just leave it on the wide shot and go handle something for a moment. Yeah, I know. I got that. Yeah. Um, so we've got some really great speakers, both locally and nationally. Um, I was really happy. It was it was a great problem to have in that I had way more people that wanted to speak than I had room for. So um, there's, now I feel special. There's some good speakers that wanted to speak that I told you know. Unfortunately, I kind of had to say, "Hey, I've only got so many slots, um, and I'm hoping they're all coming." And 
presenting this stuff as unconference sessions. I know some of them are, um, you know, one of them, you know, one of them was Scott Henderson who wanted to talk about SEO and he's now on our SEO Smackdown panel, so that's awesome. SEO Smackdown Sunday Sunday Sunday. 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 Um, I like I like it when you bring up the SEO Smackdown. Yes. It's good times. Sunday. I don't. Uh, Morgan wants so to get on the Sunday. Apparently, Sunday. so. So what else is there to talk about running events? I don't know. I guess the biggest thing with running events is just it's a whole lot of work. It's and it's, work. it's very, very challenging to do it as a volunteer mm-hmm. um, when you also have like a day job and possibly side jobs or side projects that you're working on. Um, even when you delegate stuff out, there's still just a lot of overall coordination stuff that has to happen. And I think, you know, that's that's probably the biggest challenge to making these events happen is just that there's so much time involved with all sorts of little things. I mean... You know, so we've dealt, you know, so I delegated registration to Betsy. Well, okay, great. We're ready to sell tickets or cut off ticket sales. There's blog posts that need to be written. There's the FAQ that needs to be updated. There's, you know, do we update an upcoming event? Do we, do we ping other key, you know, so when we start registration, do we ping other kind of key sources to say, hey, help publicize this? I mean, there's a lot of just behind the scenes stuff that will suck up an hour here, an hour there, and you know, realistically it's like, okay, I have a day job and I get home at five fifteen or five thirty and have dinner with the family and you know, the kids go to bed and then it's like, oh, I've got three hours of word camp things to do. So So bottom line, you have a job, a full time job. Right. You have a family with mm-hmm. two beautiful little children and a wonderful wife. You have a side business. Yes. And you have side projects. Too many of them. Correct. And that's all if we pretend that WordCamp Portland does not exist. This still exists right. in the land of Aaron Hawk. Right. So how much would you have to charge for tickets in order to make it worth your while? Seriously, it's 20 bucks a ticket. No one makes any money off of this. Yeah, I'm going to make no money off right. WordCamp. What? I'm not getting paid? <laughs> Sorry, oh. Dale. Yeah. Put the exactly. D, put the TR on. It'll make Do you, you want feel some better. Balloons. <laughs> balloons would be wonderful. Could you roll those, please? <laughs> oh dear Lord, we've created a monster. I think Dale and Doctor Normal can have their own episode where you, maybe balloons. You can have a Friday off. Thank you, they Dr. can just Normal. have the balloon episode. That's great. That would be a great idea. You know, um, there's going to be a, a time I have to go off to Girl Scout camp. Well, you don't want to do it's all an, about balloons. Are you doing an episode the night before Word Camp? No. We're not. Dale and Dr. Normal can yeah, no, talk about I, balloons. Yeah, no, I took that off. Because, All about balloons. You know, I'm a yeah. prima donna. Mm-hmm. What are you going to... Well, and you got to get up a Saturday morning and talk about podcasting. That's right. So what would it... Seriously, how much would you have to charge per ticket for you to be paid what's worth your time? I don't know. I mean, it's it's not a number that I've ever really calculated. I... It would be really interesting to know how many hours I've spent on it. Mm-hmm. You know, and I haven't paid any attention to that. I wish I would have logged know. hours for Ari Bar Camp. Yeah, because I'm Rebar you know, Camp. Yeah, the Rebar number camp. I'm sure at this point is you know several hundred, mm-hmm. kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, and you know, meetings here, meetings there, phone calls to different people. Um, you know, emails down to people at Automatic to coordinate things like getting them to send us bags of swag to give away, things like that. I mean, just all sorts of little things that add up. I mean, how much would it take to be worth it, honestly? Honestly, if somebody was going to get paid to do it, I don't think I'd be the person to do that. Yeah. It'd be like, you know, and we're at 200, 225 people here. It's like, if somebody wanted to take that conference and go bigger, I think you would really need either someone who was an event organizer and doing this kind of professionally to make money, or somebody that just had less going on, you know, maybe you're, you know, you don't have a family and you have just have a nine to five, but you don't have any side projects or side businesses and you could spend, you know, a few hours an evening on this, you yeah. know, to the point. I mean, it's, that's, I mean, I think that's the challenge that other events in Portland run into as well. I mean, like Abraham detailed how much work went into digital journalism camp. Um, you know, the Legion of Tech, when they put on an Ignite, there's a bunch of work that goes into that. Mm -hmm. Um, And, uh, you know, that's the challenge, is finding people who are already interested in all sorts of cool stuff that... I have no way of knowing if that microphone is on. ...have the time to do that. You talk, and I'll tell you if I hear you. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Oh, my... my (laughs) 
my headphones aren't going. Okay. That won't work. So Betsy's trying to talk, and we don't know if anybody can So how about her. this? Betsy, you say whatever you're going to say, and then I'll repeat it in the microphone. I had a conversation five, six years ago. She had a conversation yes. five or six years ago. With the guy who was my son's soccer coach at the time. With her son's soccer coach at the time. <laughs> And he, he had asked me to sit in on this meeting. He asked her to sit in. And he, he asked her to sit in on this meeting. Thank you, Dale. I can't do it. <laughs> I knew that I was like this full-time, you know, full-time job. He knew mom. Betsy was a full-time yeah. mom, full-time job. Mm -hmm. Yes. Single mom. Single mom, yes. full-time job. Single mom, full-time job. Right. And I said, so why wouldn't you ask another mom who's maybe like a stay-at-home mom? He says, the people who are the busiest are actually the ones who know. He people? said, why wouldn't you ask a stay-at-home mom? And then she said, because the people who are the busiest know how to get things done. And I can attest to that because as a stay-at-home mom who volunteers on way too many fronts and coordinated an entire art program for my daughter's school without being thanked or paid for it, and while coordinating a whole bunch of other stuff and doing our show, people kept asking me to do stuff because they knew I would do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or that I would do it if I said I'd do it, it would get done. Yeah, you know, and that's a challenge that I've had is you know, I've had discussions with other groups and people in the Portland area that organize events. And, you know, everybody kinda has their way of doing things. And my way of you know, so my way is the you know, way. I don't have a committee. You know, most of the WordCamp decisions, you know, I mean... What Aaron says goes. I will talk to other people, you know. I mean, I ping lots of ideas off of Betsy and Dale and Rick and things like that of say, hey, what do you think of this? You know, I mean, you know, just this week I was sending an email between Betsy and Rick of like the exact order of the speakers and when everybody, you know, but I'm just going to decide that. We're not going to have a committee. There's not going to be a vote. Um, that's just my style of doing thing. Whereas there's some other groups in town that, you know, the way they, they do things is that they have, you know, a committee meeting and nothing happens unless it's decided by a big group of people. Um, and that's just a different way of doing things. And it's not that one is right and one is wrong, but, you know, there can be a bit of friction depending on who gets involved with what. Yeah. Um, but ultimately, you know, either way, there's just a ton of work that goes into the events. And I think, you know, I guess kind of where I'm at with it is, you know, I, cool stuff happens, but I don't necessarily know how sustainable that is yeah. because people get burned out. Um, and, you know, as you get new people rolling in to do the same kind of things for different jobs, sometimes stuff gets dropped. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, a good example, um, you know, of something that was a little bumpy and has gotten better. Um, so like with Ignite, yeah. uh, Ignite Portland, I was involved with Ignite Portland too, very heavily. Um, and then I was the photographer for a couple of Ignites, and then I spoke at Ignite Portland 5. And there had been some turnover in the different people that were coordinating some of the things, and some things didn't necessarily run as smoothly as they could have. It was still a bunch of volunteers who were doing this all for free and putting mm -hmm. in a bunch of time. Yeah. And, you know, that's awesome. But you just have this, this churn in volunteers because people get burned out. And, Correct, and you, you know, you're more likely to be burned out if you're not getting paid. Right, you know. If you're getting paid, at least you can take it home at the end of the day and go, okay, right. here's my paycheck. But on the other Go's hand, the yeah, table. it's like I, in the last, so like in the last three weeks, I have had a case where I've had to prioritize and, you know, kind of decide what do I neglect. Do I neglect WordCamp Portland stuff that, you know, oh, we've got registration active now and people are emailing me questions about it, mm -hmm. or I've got, you know, speakers from out of town that are emailing me questions, or do I neglect, oh, I've got these leads for my photography business that might be potential paying gigs I need to call back. Yeah. And so do I either call back the photography leads or do I write content for Social Photo Talk, which I'm really trying to develop and monetize. Which is a good blog. Which Very good. is a good blog, but it's like... What is it socialphototalk.com? Socialphototalk.com. It's um, a good blog. Talks Check about it out. Social media and photography and how they intersect. Mm -hmm. Um 
So it's like, okay, I have an hour. Do I write content for social photo talk? Do I do marketing stuff for my photography business? Or do I work on WordCamp logistics? Yeah. How do you decide that? I or mean, spend a few minutes with your kids. Or, yeah. Yeah. Or, I mean, that's the other thing. In theory, like, this is after the kids go to sleep. But, exactly. yeah, but on the other hand, after the kids go to sleep, then it's like you Jennifer wife. Yeah. wants to spend some time with me. And yeah. so something gets neglected. Right. You know, it's the, the so many different things going on. You know, you can't do it all. I mean... <laughs> Dr. Normal. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't mean. I was showing. He was ballooned social, you. Social, social <laughs> photo talk with okay. balloons. Yeah. Maybe the it's balloons feature, were for Jennifer. Not, I'm gonna. I'm gonna guess that the balloons. The were. balloons must have been for Jennifer yeah. and my wonderful kids. Yeah. That's who, right. Um, who should not be listening to this show because there was more than a fair share of obscenities. That's right. Um, but. <laughs> And so it's just, you know, alarms. it's and you know, alarms, yes. it was alarming and alarms. alarming. It was alarming the obscenities. And so it's just too much to do. And I think some of this goes to the discussion that happened last week on the after hour show with Rick Tarosi talking about everybody in Portland with lots and lots of different side projects. Yeah. And I'd made a comment on Twitter earlier that week. Um, that I have this tendency on Twitter to be a little bit passive aggressive that when stuff is <laughs> Really? <laughs> oh, Aaron. Okay. So Come when on. stuff is frustrating me, I, I will often tweet random vague things without naming names or people or projects or specifics. But I'd made... <sighs> nice. Yeah, yes. yeah, go. Very, go. very nice, Dale. We'll Tell the truth. Balloons. What do you really think, Aaron? But I made a comment I like it. along the lines, and this was, and this was actually a comment about like directly stuff I was involved. This was literally like the juggling of WordCamp and social photo talk and Hockley photography, and the fact that I have a day job from you know seven to four in Portland, and you know I made the comment That's along really early. the lines of you know something like of you know if everybody just devoted their energy to a couple things that they really cared about, you know, something along the lines of, you know, imagine how much we could get done instead of having a bunch of half-assed stuff. But you are devoting yourself to the few things that you really do care about. Well, sorta. But well, I mean, you've got your family. Right. And you've got supporting your family, which is where the job comes in. Mm-hmm. You've got social photo talk, which is something that you're passionate about. Right. You've got... What, what is social photo talk? So... You need to start researching the guests. Pay so attention, really man. Them. So I'm, I'm sorry. I'm looking at your lower third text. What did it say? It's I missed it. <laughs> Social <laughs> photo talk. Right there. There's actually... <laughs> There's... <laughs> I actually want to know what the problem is with the lower third. Seriously. I'm missing it too. There's a dot com on the end. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, besides that. It's like that person who it's like, what's your blog address? Well, there you look, go. It's, it's there. there. Jeez. <laughs> are we the only ones that notice that? Chumley, I think balloons are in order. I think right? balloons are I mean, perfectly in order. So you are totally my audience. Transition to the dot com with the balloons. <laughs> you are totally my audience. Because Dude, if it had just said social photo talk, it would have been fine, but it was age. I'm, I'm looking. Look, look, here's the thing. You should just automatically I'm know that. I'm looking at the site right now. I put it in. I forgot the doc. <laughs> so Beautiful. So we all know that, right? We all assume that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> so social. If it's not spoke, if it's not stated, it's assumed. Yeah. So there it is. Okay. It's not Go. .org. Social photo talk. It's not .dot net. Yeah. Um. It's dot .com. Not .dot tv. So no, just, just saying. saying. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. Jinx, you owe me a martini or. <laughs> Pass or a martini. Somebody, got, his is gone. Mm, no, I drank it. I don't need another martini. So too many <coughs> projects, um, and we missed the dot com. So social photo talk is a right now it's a kind of a blog, and then I also do consulting services related to the same topic, which is the intersection of social media and photographers in the photography industry. So this is me taking my photography background and skills and my observations in that industry along with my tech background and my social media experiences and uh, are you a, are you a social media guru 
Oh, no, I'm, nice. little bit. I'm the guy who like can't guy. believe certain well-known photographers who get treated as social media gurus, and then they run blogs that have the comments disabled. That makes mm. oh, crazy Anyway, um, can I just have the seat permanently? Yeah. Yes, Dan. You're, you're this is great. You're, you're the new You're going to be like the Ed McMahon. You know, um, I, in all the time that I've known you. more like you, Tommy Newsome. In all the time we've had you on the show, I've never Andy asked Richter. you this question. Yeah. How did you get Ooh, into Andy, photography? How did I get into photography? Yeah. So there's going to be laughing. Um, so photography. Clearly. We're working to sabotage this question, by the way. Well, yeah. <laughs> no, this is a serious question I've never I asked know. him before. So okay, Seriously. Go. Unlike. Seriously. So unlike most photographers that I've met who are serious about their photography, I was never like in the photo club in high school. Mm -hmm. I've never seriously, seriously, (laughs) seriously, seriously. I've never seriously shot film at all. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's so. Like I've never worked in a dark room, Mm -hmm. which I think makes me some sort of weird freak to people like Cram or Rich Burroughs or that, which is cool. I mean, I don't have anything against film or whatever but i've i've never had that connection to it so like the Flickr group had a big meetup last night and i'm like looking at discussions from and it's like there were so many polaroid people there and film shooters it's like it's awesome i'm like whatever i I have no no frame of reference i have polaroid on here i can do polaroid what are you you using now light (laughs) something light lightroom 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 i knew it was one of those adobe product that i use you like that yeah yeah it's uh it definitely speeds up the workflow when you like come home from a conference and have you know 800 photos that you shot that day. Or That's something. fun. I'm enjoying that. Um, yeah, because yeah. you're getting into the serious photography and shooting for events too. He's um, sneaky though. Like you, you might walk up and do a, a picture, and that's fine, and you might not notice because you're it's part of the event. But he's freaking sneaky because he'll take a picture like way up close to you, and then later and you'll you not find even it on realize Flickr, that it and I'm happened. Like, picture come from yeah sneaky yeah. sneaky so you're an but a good picture though right it was a good picture See? yeah yeah no <laughs> sneaky i forgot we yeah. have two photographers on so. the couch so so oh. how did you so get I, into it so how did i get into it so it really took hold so i'd always been interested in trains mm-hmm. train porn train porn yeah. so when jennifer and i went on our honeymoon we went down to the los angeles area mm-hmm did so you go to Disneyland? We did go to Disneyland. We went I'm to Disneyland envious. on our honeymoon. And weird, random, freaky story. So, like, Kelly Gamont, who mm-hmm. I first met when I worked at an ISP in, like, 1999. But not Teleport, which is no, freaky. No, not Teleport. Yeah. Um, Pacifier, teleport. the other one. Wow. Um, Flashbacks. Um, anyway, I met Kelly working there, and so Kelly and I were, like, planning our weddings at the same time, and mm-hmm. they were going to Disney World, and we were going to Disneyland on our honeymoon. So. Nice. Anyway, I uh, went to Disneyland, and we flew down, and we took the train back. Mm-hmm. And I had, like, a like a you know digital point-and-shoot camera of some sort with me. Um, and for whatever reason, kind of after riding that train, I got a lot more interested in, like, doing train photos. Train porn. Train porn. Train porn. And shortly thereafter, you know, the... I found a couple sites on the Internet that were kind of dedicated to railroad photography. Um, and, you know, discussion forums kind of thing, because this is like 2000, 2001, um, mm-hmm. and got involved with those and started um, connecting, you know, so I very much came into it from the, I was interested in railroads and I happened to take pictures of them mm-hmm. side of things. And through the discussion forums, you know, again, this sounds like an echo of the discussion we're having about Twitter in 2008. I met people online and then connected with them in real life. (laughs) So I'd like get to know people online and they're like, Hey, we're going to go out and take some photography in the Columbia River Gorge. You know, let's all meet in Hood River and get together and go do that together. And so I connected with a few different people from around the area um, and got into the photography side of things and started taking that a little bit more seriously. Um, and so when I originally kind of got serious about photography and spent some money, I bought um, the Canon Digital Rebel, the original, kind of the first consumer, prosumer level DSLR. Is that the one I have, Dr. Normal? Yeah. yeah, you probably have a later version of it than I did. But I'm looking for that damn uh, 
picture you have with the train and the smoke and everything. That's a great picture. Why isn't that on your phone? I'm glad that I you have remember that one. Lots of pictures of trains. I know exactly so which one. You, I showed it. I know exactly which one it is too. Yeah, Dale does too. There's just one picture. Yeah, was the three amazing. engines? Yeah, three engines with yes. the yeah. Um, Go to his Explorer. If you go to my Flickr site... Um, I'm on your Flickr site. <laughs> He's got a set for it. So go to the collections in the upper right for yeah. like... Yeah. And I love then there's, it. There's a collection for either... Explore. Explored. It's the Explore Or like right. my 20 most interesting. You'll find it in either one of those. 20 most... Oh, because Flickr has a great user interface. I'm sorry. Hey, Flick. they're going to ban you. Shh. So, hey. yeah. So Fruit. that's a whole other topic for oh, wait, discussion. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we're almost um, out, and I still have to beg for help. Projects, so. events and meetings, lights and, and shadows. Whatever the just, top collection is, the very first one. It's like projects and interesting or something. Is that the one? Go in there. Oh, is that where you go to get your... That's where the sets live. Oh, here it is. He doesn't now even I have a Flickr it. account. I'm sorry. He probably now puts an E I in the word Flickr. Find it. Oh, he probably does. No, and he puts it after noob. the R. You know why? Oh, it should noob. be easy to find That's the French guy switching a show Flicker. that I could just pull... Yes, my entire Flickr stream should be catered towards picture. you. Oh. I get it. Oh, see? Exactly. I, I find it interesting that Dale and I both knew exactly which photo. Oh, if you go do. to the Ari Bar Camp... Rebar. If you go to Rebar website. Oh, we made him say it! If you yes. go to the Rebar Portland. Oh, I'll say it. If you go to that site, you'll find that photo. It's a fantastic With proper photo. credit. Yeah, that's cool. It's a fantastic photo. So that's one that of Aaron's. That was shortly uh, before I was run over by three steam trains. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, you look at the angle on that and you think, that's just not a good thing. No. no. <laughs> Ouch! Wasn't right. there's, there's many other fine photos there, but. That's hey, Doctor Normal, I, are, I have a question. Are we bumping up against the bad time? Yes, we are. All right, I need right. I need to steal the attention for a moment and say that uh, I can do balloons on that. By the way, oh dear, beautiful. Lord. Yeah, Doctor they would Normal? probably pop with the steam though. I think it needs fire. No, look at this. Look at this. Nice. All right, hey, yeah. I actually need to talk to the audience about something very serious. Oh, seriously? We're hey, not the audience, seriously. though. Well, seriously. Hashtag. Pay, pay attention, audience. I'm looking at my camera, Dale. Whatever. All right. But so. if I put my head in front of your camera, then you're looking at me. Frick. All right. Quickly. Livestream <laughs> has recently released the API. Did okay, I use all the right all letters? Dum, 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 oh, yes. boy. Yes. Okay. Dun, we dun, have dun. been having problem with you trolls. Troll. God, you keep switching cameras. Just Where am I look in your look? damn camera and you'll be fine. My camera. We've been having a problem with the oh. evil trolls. And I do think that you bastards are a little evil. I'm just saying. I mean, it's not your fault. Or they're just fun to hunt if we... That, I, never Give mind. me a bow and arrow. Okay. I'll take them down. There's an API. We There's might an API. Be with live We're stream. trying to figure out a way to keep live stream but to have an alternate chat because they have been very uncooperative when it comes but, to... No. I'm just being honest. Look, when it comes to all right, fixing API, the chat live problem. stream. So if you are so inclined to look into the old API and write a little something, let us know. We're trying to work out something that we can embed in our website. API, happy, happy but chat there's room. There's always other alternatives that we're talking to next week. Hmm. Okay. Next week? Tune in. Yes. What? Next week we're talking about... Never mind. Food carts. <laughs> we have all kinds of... Uh, I'm very confused. We Tune have in. all kinds of projects that we're launching. We have we yes. have our half asses in way too many pies. That's it. And, there we go. Oh, jeez. Speaking of pies. Exactly. Speaking of pies, Sunday is the asses Portland Pie Off. Hmm. Yes, I like to put my ass in the pie instead of my fingers. I think I saw that. Oh, that was a different movie with the different pie. Different movie. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> and it was um, And oh, there goes the trains has again. nothing uh. to do with the Portland Pie Off. Um, what's the Portland Pie Off? Is it PortlandPieOff.com? Yes. yes. Okay. So PortlandPieOff.com. The Portland Pie Off is I Sunday at one o'clock. You should go. There's a rumor that Kimmy Chaos is bending a pie. What? You're doing what to a pie? <laughs> Hell, you are. <laughs> Yeah, there's a rumor that I'm submitting a pie because I That's promised a certain is. Radio a Gretchen pie. that I would put my lemonade pie into the mix. So Lemonade pie. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's good. There's hmm. a citrus theme going on. There yeah, is. There Maybe is. I should talk about my pie. I think Betsy Gee, should tell us about the pie Betsy, and then we've got to close out. Betsy, tell us about your pie. Well, if anybody really follows me on Twitter or reads my personal blog, yes. you'll all know that it's powered by Mojito. So in fact, 
you got different. my attention. Which yeah. is different because it's not always during the summer it's powered by Mojito. Yes, yeah. definitely. Mojito is where I get the, the only revenue stream that I have to support my blog empire mm-hmm. comes from the 95% of the traffic on my personal blog. Oh, oh a tiny bit of that is me looking for your Mojito, Mojito recipes. recipes. <laughs> yeah. But do you click the Google AdSense ads is the question. No. Well, there's no Google AdSense. This is all from Blogger. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So I'm Say goodnight, Chet. Oh, Blogger. That's I'm not doing topic. that, Dr. Normal. Say goodnight, Chet. No. Chocolate mojito pie. Chocolate, Chocolate mojito, pie. mojito that sounds delicious. pie. I'm not saying the things that you want me to say on this show. Oh, Good night, Chet. Now, if I had another show, I might consider it. Hmm. Blog her. That's a whole nother kind of... Can you just pause that? Blogger. We're talking... What? Have we you just pause right? that? Or does it just keep running? No, this is the credits. We're talking over it? them. Yeah. yeah. Good night, everybody. Say goodnight. Good night. Good night, Chet. Wave. Good night.